Hey guys, Brita here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. And here we are for another episode of our Rags Riches series here at the Pinky Farm, part number 29. So today's episode, we're going to cut down some of this corn and turn it into some chaff, and then turn it into silage. Oop, fold pipe first. You can see I sort of tested that a little bit just to make sure it was going to work, but looks like it's gonna. So I'll do a bit of a run through, but this is um, certainly going to work pretty well. The header is quite wide as well, compared to what it looks like, which is kind of strange. So I want to sort of just minimise the non-realistic realism, but pretty quiet machine. Certainly uh, working well. A little bit annoying down that bottom corner there with how it's sort of showing it's full but it's not full. It's quite weird. It's going to take, um, not going to take too much I don't think for us to end up with a full trailer here. Okay, let's um, detach you. Is that going to... No, it's not actually... It's supposed to have... Um, 10,000 litre capacity, but it doesn't look like it does. Pipe out. Pipe in, pipe out. Uh, what's this? Oh, up and down. So if we go straight ahead and hit H for hard work up, we should wait for us to get back. So, um, sort of, I got rid of these sheds because they were bloody annoying. Decided against um, keeping them. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to use this trailer here, I think. Uh, it's got a bit bigger capacity than the other one. So, um, if we detach you move you out of the way for now, grab one of our other tractors, uh, which will use one of them, probably, yeah, probably the IMT 5210, because it's a little bit quicker than the other one, so should be able to get to and from a little bit quicker. Let's hoon through the yard here, way too quick pick up this trailer and hopefully we can run alongside the harvester. That trailer is certainly not going to be anywhere near big enough. I don't think we can attach a second trailer to this one. So it's going to be a fair hike going to and from, to and from, but I'm hoping in the long run it will be worth it. Um, where's our best price for silage at the moment? Only one spot, which is the Scup Trory, which is all the way down the bottom of the map, as always. Right, so let's head up here and see if we can run alongside him. Hope it's going to work. That trailer there is probably just going to stay there for a little while. side so that's fine. Um, how fast though that's the question. Is it 10 kilometers an hour? 12, it's 12. Right, so you're finished there. I'm going to quickly jump in there without dying. And I'm gonna sort of set you up to run this way back up and down the field we will follow you along hopefully so this trailer is certainly going to take a lot more chaff than the other ones so we're not going to have to empty it quite as much but um, I was kind of hoping that it would continue on because it does say forage harvester here it does say 10,000 litre capacity which is, I know it's kind of weird for a forage harbor to have any sort of capacity, but 
Yeah, I don't know why it says it. If it doesn't have it available, hopefully we can sneak around this tree and you can still throw. Come on. Might just have to run through a little bit there, I think. You have not completed your bloody task, you lazy bugger. Amazing how lazy they can be, some of these workers. Alright, let's head up the other end, I guess, and we'll get them set up to keep going up and down long ways in the field and see how they go. So now it's saying it's, it's saying it's got a bit of capacity there. 400, 500 litres, but then it's not building up to that 10,000 litre mark, which is a shame. I was sort of hoping it would have a bit of storage in this thing, which would give us a bit of time to sort of go backwards or forwards as we need to. I don't think that's going to happen. Just run alongside. We're probably going to have to empty out before we get to the end of the field up here. The other trailer there that needs to come back as well. And I said, I don't think I can attach to the back of this. But I don't know if we have any other sort of loading wagons. No, that were sort of like attached to each other. What are you doing? I don't know what's going on there. Right, there we go. Let's try and... Oh, Jesus. Turn around here without killing anybody, putting ourselves. Take this load back and then we'll come back. It's going to be a um, fairly lengthy process, I think. I said, I really don't think we can... No, we definitely can't attach another trailer to this. I know I think we could use the sugarcane harvester trailers maybe and have more than one trailer attached, but... With this guy, it's one trailer only. So we'll see how much we get out of this field. We might even have our own little field to the side there. We might even just come back and um, harvest that as normal corn. Let's try and drive up on top here. Try and run this out reasonably well. We shouldn't try and do that because we know it the way this trailer is, it's pretty hard to back it up. I want to try and keep um, sort of running over it as we go so we can sort of compact it at the same time, which I think is probably not a bad idea. As you can see we're sort of compacting it at the same time. try and turn around so we can drive back over it like this compact it again on our way back out just a little bit probably not too much but a little bit so that way when we come back at the end we're not going to have to compact it heaps and that's going to take a fair bit to fill that thing up right, so we'll head back down and grab Another load of chaff. We're going to make a decent amount of money out of it, but it's going to be a fair few trips backwards or forwards trying to sell it as well. So it should be just on top of the hill there waiting for us.
I'd be able to run it alongside him and not have too many drummers. So we're going to have to come back and plough this field as well. So run alongside. The trailer might get in the way. Just get out and move it. Beautiful. Need to turn around. Of course, we're blocking him. Let's see if we can't turn around this way. Take these trailers, really do. Oh, there we go. Oh, wrong one. Right, let's head along this way. Let's have a look at. Um, there should be sugarcane technology. Yeah, these trailers I probably should look at, I think. Pretty sure we can actually join these guys together. We can. But even then, I think there's probably even trailers in here that we can actually um, join together. Don't know about these other guys, but. Can't that one. Can't with that one. No, that's like all weird. I'm sure there's trailers we're going to be able to get to that we can actually join together. Will make it a lot, um, a lot better for us transporting to and from. We'll sort of get like a double trailer set up. So we're going to get um, a fair amount of chaff out of this this field, a huge amount. So that's going to be nearly eighty thousand. We've only done. Three rows, maybe four rows. Just missed a little bit there, which is a bit of a pain, but it's not too bad, I suppose. Just about full again. There we go, we'll be back. Who we got helping us today? Betty, we'll be back, Betty. I don't think I've changed the names yet, so we'll have to adjust that. Get you guys back into the into the game. Certainly an interesting thing to be doing, turning um, this corn into chaff and seeing what we sort of make out of uh, selling silage and that sort of thing. Might need to try and see if we can't get down there sort of running around the outside of that field so we're not having to go the long way, sort of shortcut it a little bit. Right, so let's um, run over here again. We're running through a little bit too quick. Sneak around, we can just sneak around there. There we go. Slide ourselves down a little bit so we're not loading in too much of a pile. There we go. Oop, head back down and grab um, another load. A bit more money in our account again to grab some more cows eventually. So some of this silage we'll use for the cows, some of it we'll sell to make a little bit of money. We're going to need to get some hay bales as well. So 
So I think this field here would be, um, I said before, this field here would be the optimal field for us to get for grass. I know field nine is right next door, but um, it's quite expensive, it really is. So run alongside him again. Can't forget about that trailer either. Take that back. Probably just get rid of that trailer altogether. It's 20,000 litres. It really isn't going very far. Um, I don't know what sort of what any of our good trailers sort of hold. 45,000 litres. 45,000. Ah, uh, it's at 40,000. Yeah, we don't really have any massive trailers available, I suppose. Let's turn around and get ready to follow him back up the other end of the field. Ooh, settle down. Oh god, I really suck at turning this thing around. Right, let's go, come on. Not much room at the end of that field either. To turn it around. See, so there's not a great deal of trailers available for us. Loading wagons. This is really the only one we've got, 40,000 litres. Uh, other gods are there, of course, but they're not sort of the look we're going for. Still a huge field over there. So with our um, harvester, we've got the Potop harvester, so we might need to go with um, Corn Header and grab this guy, I guess. So come back and just harvest that corn. I don't think we're going to get... We, we can get some more chaff out of that field, but I think just harvesting that as straight corn is probably going to be the better thing for us to do. Right, I'm just going to take this load back. Now, I just feel like we're going to have that much body chaff and silage and stuff. We're probably not going to need to do that field at this point in time. So I might reduce the speed to say six and um, try and unload in here at six kilometers an hour instead of the 12 and try and get an even sort of spread. And I want to try and keep it to one side so that when we come back to collect it, we should collect it reasonably good. Maybe go eight. Eight kilometers an hour. We hit about fifty percent in the trailer when we get to the other end. I'll be reasonably happy. Not quite, but still not bad. Oh, watch out for the trees. Turn around again. Do another run. See, so compacting we. Compacting it reasonably well as we go through. There we go. Packed it down. Head back. Why have we got why have we got different cows in there? White and light brown. If they look different. Hmm, I don't know. Not to worry. Right, let's head back for yet another load. Hopefully we can at least get this field done before the end of the episode. I'd say we probably will. And at least get that compacted down a little bit. Um, and then I think 
probably going to need to get some hay. Even if we just get some hay and throw it onto the ground, we're still going to need to get some hay. Well, we're right here. Thank you. So we're going to need to get some hay. We need to bale the hay, I think, because we've got the straw bales and we've got the hay bales. Probably might need to... Then again, I don't know, because we're going to have the front loaded down with the silage cutter, so we should be alright. Just get some, um, get the grass cut, get it turned into hay, using a self-propelled mower, then we can pick it up with the furashir, I guess it's called. Furasha, I guess, I don't know how to say it. Um, the attachment for this guy, pick up the hay and then just dump it on the ground somewhere. And the same as when we have some straw over here, we should be able to pick it up with that as well, I think. Yeah, we should be able to pick everything up with this, so. Let's turn around and get ready to go again. Wait for him to back in and get fully ready before I go. Move it in. Come on. Come on. You know you wanna. Damn it. <laughs> oh, this thing. There we go. Still got a few more runs to go, but. It's working reasonably well. Once we get these couple of fields done of this corn, we probably won't use the forage wagon again. I don't know how we go with um, this guy is the one we've got for the corn. Then we've got one here that will just pick up the grass and stuff. We don't really need that with um, this trailer and attachment anyway. Another full trailer load again. So we're going to have plenty. I don't know why. It should be. Ah, crop destruction is off. It should be on. I don't know why it's been turned off. So we'll go and dump this off and then come back and keep filling this guy up. And hopefully we'll be able to fill this bunker today and get it covered. And as I said, we'll come back and um, mow around this field, around our yard here and turn it into some hay. So we are going to need some hay. It's 147,000 litres. Compacting, as I said, it's still going pretty good. Oh, there we go. See if we can't turn around again. Tree again. I think we're overrunning the end of the bunker a little bit so we're going to end up with just some grass on the ground at the end but that's not too bad we'll be able to throw that in with the cows anyway beautiful it is working reasonably well so this is the machine as I said there we're going to be able to pick up the silage from out of the bunker as well so we don't need to stress too much about it I think we probably need to go with um, two scoops of hay, two scoops of silage, and then the rest of straw. When we finally want to turn the silage and the hay and the straw into mixed ration. So, we might even end up throwing all those bales into our uh, mixing 
mixing car there and just throwing the straw on the ground somewhere as well. Right, so yet another load. Hopefully this isn't too boring for you guys. back up again come on why are you not looking at us sorry oh Jesus now you want to look at us after we turn you completely in the wrong direction That was quite interesting. Come on. Stupid thing. What is wrong with it at the moment? There we go. So hopefully it won't take us um, too much longer to get this finished. It's going to be a few more trips back I would say. So it's quite, um, probably quite a boring episode for you guys, but I know you guys are enjoying the Rags to Riches series. What I'm going to do, let's duck, stay there, duck through in front of you. Back, go over here and turn around. And then, hopefully... Pick that up. I'll be able to. Come on. God damn it. Doesn't matter what I try, there's just not enough room down this end of the field. Alright, so let's say another three more runs, so another couple of full loads of chaff at least. go. 40,000 litres. Come back and um, plough this field again. We're going to have to cultivate it. We're going to have to seed it. We're going to have to harvest that other field as well. So we're going to have to get our harvester back to the shop to pick up the header. But then come back down and start harvesting. Hopefully we get a decent price for corn somewhere. Maybe we could probably use a little bit more chaff, silage, but I think the amount we're putting in now is going to last us a fair while for the cows and also bring in a little bit of extra money for us. Just going to help us to expand the amount of cows that we actually have at the moment. All right, so let's bring it up again. So 187,000, 63% compacted. All tipped out. Try not to hit that tree this time. Ooh, close. Still compacting, which is good. That's what I want to see. I want to make sure we're trying to compact as much as we can while we're going so we don't have to sort of drive backwards or forwards too much on top of the heap. 
we go. So plenty of chaff in there at the moment. Probably going to end up with over 300,000 litres. And for the price of silage at the moment, it's going to be a decent income for us. I think I'll probably try and leave at least maybe 50,000 litres in there for our total mix ration, of course. But the rest will probably just sell and get rid of. And then once we actually buy this field here, we'll be able to get plenty of um, silage, plenty of hay, and these fields over here will still continue to get some straw out of to continue to feed our cows. Swing around. Get in here and start unloading him again. Hopefully it won't take us too long to get this finished now. A couple more runs I think. said so I think the um, it's working well the header looks like it's massively oversized for the the harvester which is kind of weird but I mean it still works so really can't complain I'll wait for him to turn around and then follow him back down again I'll say it's going to be another two trailer loads at least come on there we go a little bit extra at the end but I'm not too stressed about that little bit it's going to be left behind I'll say it's another run down and another run up and possibly a second run back down the field It's getting what six rows of um, corn at the moment. They move to the right a bit more. It might even get more than that. Certainly, um, certainly working well. Screenshot while we're there. We're gonna have to do the whole turnaround thing again. Work out why I can't get it to turn around and actually follow me through properly. Do the same, I'll try and turn around and follow him through, see if I can get it to work this time. there. Oh look at that. Didn't have to get out and manhandle it this time. Come on Betty. God damn it Betty. Yeah so it's another run up and another run back. Possibly another full trailer load after this one again. And then we've got that trailer over there that needs sorting out as well. Head back, unload this guy, come back, unload again, hopefully that'll be enough. Hopefully we hit just right on 40,000 or just under 40,000. I think we'll definitely um, get rid of the forage harvester after uh, this harvest, as I said, and then focus on getting our silage from the grass of that field. Look at that pile. That pile is huge. Let's try and get on top. Continue unloading.
So I want to sort of keep to the left because when we come in uh, with the attachment that actually picks all this stuff up, at least we know it'll be on the right of the tractor. So that way we should be able to pick it up pretty easily. Right, so 62% compaction. Drive back through again. Be able to compact it down a little bit. So we're going to get probably yeah, over 300,000 litres chaff which will eventually will be silage so that's um not too bad at all so you can see how long that'll actually take it for us to compact it down we'll even have to actually grab that attachment there and just sort of tidy up the ends a little bit as well before we go and cover it try and get all of it back in there We'll grab our um, Fort Strite or Fort Strit tractor with our silage cutter on the front and do a bit of a tidy up job. So you can imagine how long it's going to take to get that field done as well. weird shaped field which isn't going to help when we actually come to harvest that field but could always just turn it straight back into grass if you wanted to I think it might be the way to go you guys what do you reckon turn that all into grass up there so we can get rid of these stumps and just cut that and use that as our silage as well we might even have to buy that field then but if we do we'll have double the amount of silage stuff available one thing I still haven't found yet is I still haven't found a um, like an old school bale wrapper Not old school baler of course but no bale wrapper but we could probably use um, the Anderson group bale wrapper oops but that's um, it only does round bales too and we've got square bales so that's not going to help So yeah, I don't know, we're going to have to wait, either wait for a decent old school bar wrapper to come out or just use a newer version. Let's turn around, get back down, run over these bits of corn while we're here. So yeah, another run up, and then that little bit back down again. Right, there we go. Run along. Tiny little bit in the way back. With some weeds in there too, by the looks of it. A little weed in there. Must have missed that when I... Was spraying the weeds. Between episodes. I don't think this is fully... No, it is, yep, yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if it was fully um, fertilised or not. I thought I might have missed the stage. So we're definitely going to get another full trailer and a little bit extra. Gonna get full before the turnaround. I think we are. Yep. Let's actually just unhire you. Might as well just turn you around so you're ready to go. Right, there we go. Let's go head back to the farm with this trailer load and we've got a little bit more. Blast that load there and we'll be done. I don't think we can drop the chaff straight into the cow pen either. I think we need to actually turn it into something else before it goes in. Don't think the chaff can get delivered as anything. Whether it be grass or silage or whatever, I think it 
has to go into a bunker. So that field there is nice and close to home. Decent size, but it's um, quite expensive because it comes with all that forest there as well. Top up here if we can, there we go. Maybe not. I'll just try and start filling it out a little bit more without rolling forward too much. Not that I can move anyway. So we've got 307,000 litres of chaff and a little bit more to come. So we're going to have a fair amount in here. We need to do a bit of compacting work as well. And tidy up. So this next trailer load plus that extra little bit and then we finished. So he's on his way, yeah, we're setting him up to come back down, so it shouldn't be too hard to follow him down for this last little bit. We're going to need that trailer. Uh, brought back as well, emptied off. Let's try and swing around so it picks us up. Come on. It likes it. It's like it wants to, but then it stops. Which is really weird. Alright, so last run. I'm not going to get too much out of this run, but we'll get the field finished throw this in to the silage bunker and then come back with our plow and start ploughing the field as well. That needs to be done. Both fields are going to have to be ploughed, recultivated, reseeded and all the good stuff. Fertiliser, possibly weed, possibly, what about lime? Do we need lime at the moment? No, we don't need lime at the moment, so that's good. Right, so just about done. Right, now where are you going? There's nothing left. Let's go back into here, go to garage, and I think um owned let's get rid of you. I'm not going to use it again, I don't think. It sort of just didn't didn't work out as I would have thought. I mean, it did pretty good. But I think we'll stick with mowing and collecting a silage and stuff that way. A little bit easier. Is that a bit of grass at top left? A little bit of grass in the corners. I wasn't sure if it was actually looking through the trailer to the ground. So let's get this done, we'll drop the trailer off, we'll grab our plow, come back, get this big tractor here starting to plow. Is that timer? Perfect timing. 
Um, starting to plow, and we're going to have to pick up that other trailer as well and bring it back. Okay, beautiful. Tree. Let's have a look how we're going for compaction, 68%, so it's going to take me a little while to get it up to where it needs to be. Fair bit of tidy up at the front there. So right there guys, what I'll do is I'll end the episode here, I will take this tractor down with the plow and sort of get it a hide worker started working on the field. Um, I'll probably grab our, we'll even grab this one, that little tractor there to head down and pick up that other trailer load of chaff and bring it back get it put in there and then I'll tie up the bunker and cover it as well and um, the next episode I might look at doing some um, harvesting of corn down here and also some total mixed ration mixing back here at the farm so if you guys enjoyed this episode as always smash a like button leave a comment let me know what you think of the episode and what you thought of doing the chaff this way would you rather see the chaff done this way or done by mowing? Um, I'm sort of leaning towards mowing, as you guys are already aware. But um, yeah, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.